Ah, Sherwood Forest. The legendary home of Robin Hood. The heroic outlaw who stole from the rich to give to the poor. His story has been told countless times in movies, TV shows, books, and even video games. But how much of the legend is based on fact, and how much is pure fiction? Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of Robin Hood. Separating fact from fiction, and exploring the history and the myths behind this beloved folk hero. But before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a quick look at the legend of Robin Hood and what has made it so enduring over the centuries. The story of Robin Hood has been around for over 700 years, and it's changed a lot over time. The earliest versions of the tale are quite different from the Robin Hood we know today. In fact, the original Robin Hood was not the dashing hero we've come to love, but a brutal yeoman who killed and robbed without mercy. But over the years, the legend evolved. And Robin Hood became a symbol of justice. An outlaw who stood up to the corrupt nobility and defended the common people. His legend has inspired countless works of art and entertainment. And it's still going strong today. So, let's take a closer look at the legend of Robin Hood and see how much of it is fact and how much is fiction. Are you ready? Let's go. First, let's talk about Robin Hood's home, Sherwood Forest. It's a vast woodland in Nottinghamshire, England, and it's been around for centuries. But did Robin Hood really live there? Well, the answer is complicated. It's certainly possible that Robin Hood and his band of outlaws used Sherwood Forest as a base of operations. But there's no concrete evidence to prove it. Some historians think that Robin Hood might have actually been based in Barnsdale Forest, which is located in Yorkshire, not too far from Nottinghamshire. But regardless of where Robin Hood lived, his story has become inseparable from Sherwood Forest. And it's hard to imagine him living anywhere else. Next, let's talk about Robin Hood's arch-nemesis, the Sheriff of Nottingham. He's usually portrayed as a villainous figure who is determined to capture Robin Hood and bring him to justice. But was there really a Sheriff of Nottingham? Yes, there was. In fact, the position of Sheriff of Nottingham has existed since the 12th century. And it was a real job with real responsibilities. The sheriff was responsible for keeping the peace and enforcing the law in Nottinghamshire. And he was appointed by the king or a local lord. But whether the real-life sheriff of Nottingham was anything like his fictional counterpart is another matter. We don't know much about the historical sheriffs. But it's unlikely that they were as villainous as the one portrayed in the Robin Hood legend. Let's move on to Robin Hood's mission, which was to steal from the rich and give to the poor. It's a noble cause, but did Robin Hood really do that? Again, the answer is a bit tricky. While there were certainly thieves and bandits in medieval England who preyed on the wealthy, there's no evidence that a real-life Robin Hood actually existed. And even if he did, it's unlikely that he was stealing from the rich to give to the poor. In the Middle Ages, there were strict laws against theft and robbery. And anyone caught stealing could be punished severely. And while there were certainly wealthy people and poor people in medieval England, the idea of a heroic outlaw robbing from the rich and giving to the poor is mostly a product of the Robin Hood legend. But what about Robin Hood's relationship with Maid Marian? Was she a real person? There's no evidence that a real-life Maid Marian ever existed. But she's become an essential part of the Robin Hood legend. In most versions of the story, she's portrayed as Robin Hood's love interest. And a strong, independent woman who helps him in his fight against the Sheriff of Nottingham. Interestingly, the earliest versions of the Robin Hood tale don't include Maid Marian at all. She was added to the story later, possibly as a way to appeal to a more romantic audience. Now, let's talk about one of the most famous elements of the Robin Hood legend, his archery skills. Robin Hood is usually depicted as an expert archer, able to shoot arrows with incredible accuracy from incredible distances. But is there any truth to this? Well, Archery was certainly an important skill in medieval England. And there were certainly archers who were able to shoot accurately over long distances. But the idea of a single person being able to shoot as accurately as Robin Hood is mostly a product of the legend. That being said, the longbow was a vital weapon for medieval English armies. And archery tournaments were a popular pastime. So while Robin Hood's archery skills might be exaggerated, they're not entirely unrealistic. So. What have we learned about the legend of Robin Hood? Well, 
It's a complex and ever-evolving story that has captured the imagination of people for centuries. While there's no concrete evidence to prove that a real-life Robin Hood ever existed, his story has become an essential part of English folklore and has inspired countless works of art and entertainment. Whether he was a brutal outlaw or a heroic defender of the common people. One thing is certain. The legend of Robin Hood will continue to captivate audiences for generations to come. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you have any ideas for future videos, let us know in the comments below.